Hello everyone, Brickasaurus227. Today we're going to be doing a re review on the LEGO set 76895 Speed Champions Ferrari, Ferrari F8 Tributo. Let's get started. Alright, so starting with the minifigure, I really love this minifigure. It looks really nice. I like the head is nothing new, the pants are nothing new, but the shirt, the print, the Ferrari print, that's probably actually probably gonna be worth money someday. I'd imagine, but maybe not, I don't know. Really cool. I like that. The hair piece is really neat. I haven't I actually don't know if I've seen I don't I don't think I own one of these. So it's pretty cool to have another extra hair piece that looks pretty awesome. It I think it looks really nice. It, uh, there's not much else I can say about it. He also has an alternate face expression in the character. Uh, more happy face, and then here's a more... He's still happy, but he's just not as excited. And I think it's really neat. He also goes with a accessory, a wrench. Which, you know, I mean, nothing special. Wrenches, uh, I have like five wrenches now, like a wrenches. And, you know, nothing special about them, but they're pretty cool. And... Yeah, he goes with a little, so it's really neat to go with the accessory, and he also goes with an extra headpiece. He goes with the helmet, which really is, which is actually quite nice. I really like that. Uh, I, yeah, I definitely like this character a lot. Really like the suit. I like, I like hoodies and jackets and stuff like that. So, yeah. Really neat. I really like it. Very nice figure. All right. Now, let's move on to the Ferrari. All right, now getting to the Ferrari. I really like the car. This is the main build of the set. It's actually the only build of the set. I really like the design. This looks so authentic and real. And I just really love it. Oh my gosh, it's actually quite huge. Comparing it to a Lego figure, it's a, it's a bigger vehicle for sure. But it's pretty cool. I really like it. There's not much else I can say. It has some really neat sticker headlight prints up here, the Ferrari print up here, and then Right here, they have a, little, a couple of Ferrari logos on the side. They're very tiny. The mirrors are here. It's all. It's a really neat build. I really like this part. Again, I'm not. I, I want to say I'm not much of a car expert or anything like that. I'm not really into cars and stuff, so I don't know too much about it. But I really do like this. I like the way it is. I like how it looks and all. So yeah. Up here, this thing can come off, revealing the inside. We're. There's actually two seated. I really like two seated cars, and because they're also good for stop motions and whatnot, like a stop motions. If you're ever into that, and you'll know what I mean. I really like these, uh, the controls in there. It's just look like a little neat car, and I guess you could keep take that off, but I guess it'd look kind of weird making a convertible. That wouldn't really look good. It's overall, I think it's pretty cool. Like I said, the Lego Lego figure can fit right inside of there. Let me just get him. And if you really want to store everything, you can just throw a branch. And the, if you even want to, you can put the extra hair piece in there. And put that on top. And there you go. Oh, hang on a second. And there you go. I really like it. You have to pull, push this guy all the way back and make sure his helmet's not up. You can't put a character with their hair piece in there. Believe it or not. It's kind of weird. Why, okay, why isn't it going in there? There we go. It's in now. Yeah. If the guy has a hairpiece, you can't fit him in there, so you have to. You can only fit him in there with the helmet, which kind of sucks. But hey, I really like the build of this. Uh, it, I believe the price averages for thir twenty US dollars, which it, I think is kind of ridiculous. But you know, for you know just one car. But I'll talk more about that at the end. I think it looks really nice, and there's not much else I can say. Is the bottom? I could be also these uh, wheel plates actually go with alternate. Uh, the hubcaps, they come with al alternate hubcaps. Unfortunately, I just remembered that, and I forgot to pull the extra ones out. But it does go with some extra ones. I really like it. I think it's a cool build. And it's amazing how many pieces it takes to build this car. I mean, I mean, like, it's, it's insane. This is, like, heavy, too. This is more of a heavy Lego car. It's amazing. I really like it. I think it's neat. But now, my final opinion. I think the set is good. 
Uh, I definitely think you should pick it up, though. $20 is pretty steep. I would say $15 would be better. Lego has not been good on pricing lately. Their prices have been way, way too expensive on some of the sets, especially this one. I mean, it's a cool, cool car, and I know it's like 200-something pieces, but I, to me, it just doesn't seem like something that, you know, is worth... I don't think it's worth... $20. I think $20 is a little too overpriced for it, but still very cool. I still picked it up because I thought it was a cool looking car. And yeah, actually, no, I got this in clearance. I just remember for $16. So it was a good deal. So yeah, really nice. And yeah. All right, that's it. Hope you liked the video. Leave a like, subscribe. How many questions, uh, recommendations, concerns, or whatever, put it in the comments down below. Share this video so more people you'll see it, and turn on that notification bell so you'll get notified every time I make a review, nerf video, thrifting video, anything like that. Also, please check out some of my other videos. I have some other stop motions. If you like this channel, or if you like Into Legos or Nerf, check the, the stop motions out. My stop motion videos are really cool. For some reason, they don't have as much views as the other stuff. And if you're into Nerf, then check out the thrifting video, Nerf thrifting videos. You may like them. Let me know in the comments if you want me to do some Lego thrifting videos, because I have found a few Lego stuff thrifting. And every now and then I might be able to surprise you with one. Uh, I don't really ha I know this is kind of off topic. I usually review Jurassic World sets, but this is all I have right now. It's the only recent set I got. I'm kind of, you know, I can't just get all every single set. I'm saving up for another set, and hopefully we'll get one pretty soon. Every time I get a set, I'll review it, no matter what it is. It won't be in any specific order. So I will make a play a playlist or something for that. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. God bless.